Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to a lot of you about relationships and breakups today. I know those uh, summer flings are coming to a close considering it's the end of the summer, people are going back to school, studying abroad, whatever it may be. I'm just getting out of a relationship myself. It's been over a month since we broke up. Long relationship, long term, five years. And I know a lot of those people uh, who came up to me are going through the waves of emotions just like I am. Um, they're your first thought in the morning, they're your last thought before you go to bed at night. Uh, you hear that song on the radio and it just takes you back. Um, and I wanted to talk to those people on how to overcome that because I, I myself am going through that. I'm learning how to overcome it and this is how I'm overcoming it. So. If you hear that song on the radio, or if you hear that song on Pandora, change the station, skip the song, okay? Um, negative thoughts about people, um, if you're thinking about them, the more emphasis of your thoughts that are placed on them, the more you are taking away from your own happiness. And I know it's not going to be a piece of cake coming out of a relationship. It's, not, it, it's gonna take a lot of little steps to overcome that. It's not going to be easy. I myself am going through the wave of emotions on how to overcome it, and it's not easy, you know, it, uh, those songs take you back, but guys, there are so many opportunities out there, okay, um, there are a million fish in the sea, like my sisters would tell me, um, next, how they, how they put it in their own words, uh, my dad always told me, date a million guys, because you need to experience life, um, there's not always just gonna be one guy, or one girl, for that matter, if you're a guy listening to this, uh, there's there's so many opportunities out there, and what I always say is replace one negative thought with three positive ones, and consistently see how your mind will change, because that that works wonders. Like I do that in everyday life, not even considering just breakups or relationships. I did that with everyday stress I've been handling, everyday uh, things, everyday uh, situations. And it really does work, do that. You know, replace one negative thought with three positive ones and you can see how your mindset will change for the good, for the better. And you do not want to lose yourself, you do not want to lose your happiness because the more emphasis you spend on them, you're taking away from your happiness, but you broke up with them in the first place. So, um, you guys are focusing on the positives of the relationship, on why you broke up, and that's okay, that's okay. You guys want to remember the positives of the relationship, the memories. Um, but the more you also want to realize why you broke up with that person in the first place. They cheated on you. They lied to you. Uh, whether it be mutual, it just didn't work out. You know, you do not want to take away from your own happiness. Think, please think of the, the toxic reasons on why you left the relationship and you, you could be a lot happier. Um, you do not want to waste your time focusing on the positives of a relationship. You do want to remember them, but do, don't focus on them because it's going to take away from your own happiness or the thoughts of that person. You're going to take away from your own happiness just thinking about that uh, another thought of that person. Um, and in relationships, a lot of people have been coming up to me asking, you know, what do I do? Uh, the relationship is not going well or I'm unhappy. First of all, if you're unhappy, you, you have either two options. You can either fix it or leave, okay? And it depends. If you want to work on it and keep working on it, good. But please remember your own happiness. And if it's not working out, if you're unhappy, just leave. There are so many opportunities out there. Uh, so many other people out there you can experience. You could focus on yourself for one. Uh, that's even better. Focusing on yourself, focusing on your finances, school. Uh, keep busy. Keep uh, uh, working. You know that it keeps. I know it keeps my my mind occupied on the thoughts. Keeping my mind occupied working all the time like I did this summer I've, I'm working I've been working almost every day and it's been working and just there's so many other things you can keep your mind your mind in tune to and focus on your own happiness is what I want to say you do not want to spend another thought on someone that was toxic and take away from your own happiness because and in, in all, all reality, that's what you were trying to do in the first place when you broke up with the person is to focus on your own happiness. And that's the message I want to get a lot. I wanted to get uh, to a lot of you guys today. So please focus on you, focus on your own happiness because it's going to be worth it. Okay. There's so many opportunities out there. So many more p other people to meet. You do not want to spend uh, months just focusing on one person that was toxic and have it drain your own happiness because 
that is not a mindset you want to be in. So I want to thank everyone today. I want, uh, my uh, motivational demeanor is growing. We are almost hitting 3K, which is awesome. So thank you guys. Thank you for supporting motivational demeanor and my life coaching uh, services. I am on YouTube now. Check out my YouTube channel, like Coach Christine. So yeah, thank you guys. Have a great day. See you on the flip side. More videos coming. Signing off.